Good morning, everybody. We are back for um, our next episode of the 12 Totally Awesome Days of Christmas. I apologize for not posting a couple of the past couple of days with the holidays. Some days are men work, some days are not. So today I'm going to record all the videos and then start posting them to get caught up. But today we're going to be learning about a four species of tortoise. We're going back to tortoises now. We took a little break from tortoises with the Heosimis. But now we're going back to tortoises. So we have several species of this African forest tortoise called Conixes. All right, the genus is Conixes. Now you can see here, this is kind of our typical setup. We're trying to get more plant growth to make it more shaded, just like with the elongated. You want it more shaded so they feel like they're more in the forest environment. And Conixes is a very unique group. You can see we got some food out there for it. They're, they're omnivorous. They like snails, earthworms, other things like that, a lot of plant matter, but they really specialize in mushrooms. So they eat a lot of mushrooms in the wild. We feed them those here as well. And you can see there's one hanging out right there. Now, I'll show you in just a minute what makes this group of tortoises unique. Um, with the amboinensis, and if you're in the U.S., there's box turtles here, they can close up their shell. Well, with these guys, with this species, they can close up their shell too, but it's not in the front. It's actually the back. You can see a little crease right here. It goes up to the back. And their back half of their plastron closes. It can move. And they typically close the back end. And it doesn't, so it's not the plastron that bends, but the actual carapace that closes. And that is, these are the, this is the only genus of turtles that has a carapace that can open and close. So it's very unique to this group of turtles. Now I'm going to pick this one up. And this is a homiana. So Conixis homiana. Homes hinge back. And there's multiple different species of Conixis. And they all have this uh, carapace that can open and close right here. But what makes Homes and Arosa, another species I'll tell you about, unique is that they're forest. They specialize in the forest. The other species of Conixes can be forests, savannas, like thorny scrub. But these guys focus in just the forest. And you'll see these are very similar to um, Arosa. But what makes these, and they have the same range, kind of the Guinea, Congo, West African rainforest. What makes, what, how you can identify these consistently is you see this right here, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. These are vertebral scutes because they're on the vertebrae. This fifth one has this sharp drop off, right? It's almost like a cliff. Goes straight. And you saw that. You saw that uh, movement, a little bit of movement there in that shell. So this has a drop off, and that is very distinct for Homiana. When we look at Arosa, it does not have that. It'll be more of a smooth, uh, a roundish uh, curvature to it. Now these have these steep drop offs right there. All right, so this is uh, Homiana, Conixis Homiana. I wish he would have come out, but it's kind of early in the day. And so, let's see if we can get a picture. Nope, those nice Gueuler scutes right there, but we do not see no face coming out for us today. And those dots, that's just our identification how we can make sure we keep track of which individual is which individual. So that's just our marking pattern, those two pink dots there. All right, well this is Conixis homiana, very beautiful tortoise, rainforest of Africa. All right, y'all have a good one. I hope you enjoyed it.